hi guys so today I'm going to just uh, show you how to clean up this image um, this is shot by one of my photography students and it's a very special shoot she did for somebody she is very very close to now one of the challenges we face uh, when we are doing children's photography outdoor specifically is one nature offers light uh, in such variant ways you know sometimes you go out thinking that you have got the perfect light and suddenly it becomes cloudy and you don't know what to do because you're photographing children so you know that sort of uncertainty of uh, what kind of natural light you will receive sometimes creates a problems with uh, problem with your shoots also when you're photographing children uh, maybe they are not in the right mood or uh, you know you've set up everything and they suddenly start to cry you need to quickly finish off with your shoot is and and that's the reason sometimes why you are not able to get the correct shot in this image as you can see uh, there are a couple of things we can just uh, do to initially clean up this image number one i see a green color cast on the left hand side of the baby's face as you can see here now why does this green color cast occur is because you know when you go to a woodland area which is which has a very heavy tree cover and there is where there are very little spots from where light can really pass through a clean patch of light so you know that tall green trees uh, throw a lot of color cast on your uh, subject and of course if in case by mistake because of any circumstance the image becomes a little bit underexposed that adds to the additional color cast so one that is something that we are going to remove from here second i feel that the face of the baby is a little bit underexposed and we can increase the exposure on this face so that's the second thing that we are going to do and number three we are going to today remove the dad's arm and leg from this shot and make this background completely clean now these three steps if we are, if we do in this image right away the image is going to become so clean and of course the fourth step that we are going to do here is going to remove these uh, little twigs of grass from the baby's face i mean as much as i possibly can do in this circumstance here so once we clean that up that is when you can start editing the image really until then i mean editing the image will not really help you are not going to get a clean canvas like we call it okay so let's start with the very first thing is to bring back light on this image increase the exposure very very simple step what you need to do is create a copy of your background layer now to create a copy of your background layer you can press command plus j for jack on uh, your mac computer and control plus j for jack on your windows computer once you do that your uh, you know your copy of the layer background layer will be created in this you are going to simply change your blending mode of the layer to screen yeah the moment you change this blend blending mode as you can see it has thrown in a lot of light onto the image now you can use it in a very uh, variety of ways you know i mean if you don't want the highlights to blow out here on her dress and on the background what you can really do is put a layer mask next to this image and invert that layer mask which is command plus i for india on mac and control plus i for india on uh, windows computers and then with a white brush at 100% opacity you can literally just lift up the light on the baby's face you don't need to lift it up anywhere else or maybe slightly lift it up here wherever you feel the light is not even you know maybe these areas okay so you can see we've already brought light back into the image now you flatten this now the second step i'm going to do is remove the green color cast from this side so what i'm going to do is i am going to go to adjustments in adjustments i will go to hue and saturation remember the green color that you see in nature is actually yellow okay so if you need to change anything about the green color in your images you need to work on the yellow color channel so what this is what i'm going to do in my hue and saturation i am going to go to the yellow color channel and i'm going to move the hue to the left 
the more i move the hues to the left the more you can see that the color here on her face is changing from the green and i can slightly reduce the saturation as well i don't want this color changed on the entire image because then it becomes like really a weird sort of a color as you can see so what i'm going to do is i am going to invert my mask here which is command i in mac and control i i for india in windows and with my white brush at somewhere around 20% opacity i'm keeping my opacity lower here and not like a complete 100% simply because the transition between the uh, the effect where i'm painting it versus what there is already on the image needs to be smooth if i you know use my 100% brush the transition will be very very stark okay so the blending needs to be smooth so i have inverted my mask and then with my white brush at around 20% opacity i'm going to paint this effect the hue and saturation effect over the areas that have been affected by the green color cast I'll increase my opacity now. Okay, so now when we look back at this, I'm going to switch on and switch off this layer. And you can see that I have removed the green color cast from this image by simply using two steps. One is bringing light back onto the image and then using the hue and saturation layer to remove the color cast. So that was a very, very simple trick. Now. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is remove the father's hand away from this shot. So I'm going to flatten the image and now what I'm going to do is I will create a copy of the background layer. Once I create the copy of the background layer, I will now go to edit. In edit, I will go to transform. In transform, I go to flip horizontal. Once I flip horizontal, I'm just basically flipping the top layer, not the bottom layer. Okay, the bottom layer, if you see, is the original image itself. I have flipped it horizontally and I will reduce the opacity of the top layer. And I am going to move it here. A little bit here. Okay, just to make sure that the dad's arm is completely covered by the grass and branches okay now i bring my opacity up and i put an inverted layer mask next to this image how do you put an inverted layer mask you keep your uh, uh, cursor on the layer mask and you press option key once you press option key keep your finger on the option key and then press add layer mask and that will bring in the inverted layer mask on, uh, next to your layer. And then with a white brush at 100% opacity, I am going to put the opposite side, this side of the uh, background, overlay it onto this side where we are seeing the arm of the dad. So as you can see, in like a simple, simple step and you go in close, 
very very close just to make sure that you haven't made any mistakes here I feel with reduced opacity I'm going to blend in a little bit more of the background yep and that's about it simple step and within seconds we have removed the arm of the dad right now finally we need to remove these little you know specks of grass uh, and the bluebells from the baby's face as much as possible now this is a tedious job okay it's not going to be easy i promise you that i am going to take a fresh layer and here i am going to try two things i mean i can try the clone stamp tool here let me try the clone stamp tool first i go in very very close and i pick parts from her clean skin This part won't get done. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to make sure the part that you're picking blends in properly with the skin itself, you know. You can't... Uh, make it look patchy okay so let's just see i've done it this much then from here i'm going to take this part of the skin yeah All right, and now I'm going to use clone stamp to reconstruct the lip. I mean, it's not going to perf be perfect at all, you know, but you can at least try to salvage as much as you can. Um, I am going to you know sometimes when you want to use a clone stamp a little bit more uh, delicately I sometimes move to the lighten uh, blending mode of clone stamp tool I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit and then I am going to try to do this blending now should not look patchy this is looking patchy here
Vas-y. I mean, like I said, it's not an easy thing to do. But you know, if someone, if you created a very special image for someone who's really close to you, it's worth putting in that effort to, you know, really salvage that sort of an image. And it's a, it's a great photography trick to know about as well. But just remember always to keep your blending modes a little, uh, you know, uh, lower. You don't want to keep your, uh, bl uh, sorry, your uh, opacity a little lower and not too high. Okay, let's just see how far we have been able to salvage the image till now. So till now we have come from here to here. Yeah. So you see where I have been able, you know, I have tried to clean up the image as much as possible. So let's just go back now. We started here and we have come here started here and we have come here 